Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. It's time to talk about what's up and have a little stamp and fun with you guys. So if you are on with me today, give me a like or a love. Let me know that you guys are here. And we're gonna play with the puffins today. So I'm super excited. I love these little guys. They're just so cute. So anyway, it is Wednesday. It is the middle of May. It's a gorgeous day here in Pennsylvania. The sun's shining, the sky's blue, and I'm gonna hang out with you guys for a little bit, and then I promised my dog I would take him for a walk today. So I see some friends coming on. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. It's great to have you guys here. I am Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. You are hanging out with me on my Facebook page. This is my business page where I go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So one thing that I want to suggest to you as well is to hop over to my Stamp with Jody B group. This is on Facebook as well. Most of you guys are probably on there, but just in case you're not, head over to stamp with Jody B and ask to join that's a little bit more of my VIP group it's a private group and it's a lot of things I share on there that I don't necessarily do here so it's a little bit more intimate a little more a little more private so hop over to there ask to join and um, come party with us over on stamp with Jody B so what else do we have going on I'm gonna tell you a couple of things while everybody's coming in and then we'll get to stamping with the puffins so real quick my partner Connie and I are doing our 12 hour virtual, or not virtual, this is in real life. This is in real life, friends. We are doing our 12 hour creative escape. It is held in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, June 5th. Uh, registration's gonna end on Saturday and we have just a couple openings, not very many guys. We're still keeping things kind of small just to handle COVID situations. So we make sure that everyone is at their own eight foot table, lots of space, lots of room to move around, social distancing. Um, but we would love to have you guys head up to Pennsylvania, head up to Gettysburg. It's gorgeous gorgeous this time of year. You're going to love it. Um, and so come and hang out with us at the Aspire. Uh, actually, we'll be in the Eisenhower Ballroom on June 5th. So we have lots planned for you. The great thing about a 12-hour retreat is you can do it one of two ways. You can attack it two ways. You can have your 12 hours to create whatever you want to work on, bring your items. I always suggest having a plan, having a plan of what you want to make because that 12 hours goes really, really fast. Um, so plan what you want to make, plan what you want to bring. That way you're not bringing the whole kitchen sink, the whole kit and caboodle, and then you're sitting there going, oh, I don't even know where to start. But we will have make and takes for you guys. We will have optional classes in the afternoon. And um, do I want a sneak peek? Do you guys want a sneak peek of my optional class in the afternoon? Uh, I haven't announced it yet. I just finished it last night. So give me thumbs up if you guys want a sneak peek of what my optional class will be at the retreat um, for the afternoon. Um, and so we will have two optional classes. So my friend Connie creates one and I create one. And then there will be kits. We have kits on sale so that you can buy kits if there's kits you want to work on. Some are previous classes that we've done before. Some are Stampin' Up! all-inclusive kits. Some are Paper Pumpkin. So ideally, you could walk into retreat with your scissors and adhesive and be able to craft the entire day and didn't have to drag a bunch of stuff. All right, I'm seeing your thumbs, I'm seeing your thumbs. All right, so lots of you guys like the framed art, right? So um, I, I've been wanting to do something with the um, Sand and Sea, and we still have it as a bundle. Um, well, actually I should say, we still has, have it as a suite until the end of June, and then the paper is going to leave, but we are gonna keep the bundle and the embossing folder into our next catalog. So I wanted to do a framed art class, and so this is going to be the optional class that you can choose at the Pampered Stamper Retreat. So um, I just loved it. I thought it was beautiful. Now it doesn't really showcase as well because all of the cutouts are the pearlescent paper. So they've got a little bit of shimmer and sparkle to them and they just look so pretty. Then I've got the glittery opal gems are in there too. So you can't quite see those. This is a nine by nine. 
but it will also, um, you could totally turn it into a 12 by 12 as well. So if you guys are attending Pampered Stamper Retreat June 5th, this will be one of the optional classes that you can that you can choose. Now we may open this up. I have We haven't decided yet if we're gonna open this up to everybody um, and be able to do, I, I could do this as, a, as another class potentially. I haven't decided that yet. So information, if you are Pampered Stampers, you will get the information coming out, I believe Friday we're going to announce the two optional classes. So the other one that I did, um, I am toying with doing the relax. Now this is a retired, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, die retired alphabet set it's one of my favorite and I can't get rid of it so it is retired it is no longer available and I just it's perfect it's just the perfect sizing to create those um yes Denise Denise is asking if the optional classes are available to those to go participants absolutely girlfriend so you will get that registration information coming out here on Friday and you can sign up since you're to go. You've already taken care of your shipping, so it's just a straight class fee. And you can choose one or both of the classes. Totally up to you. Um, so anyway, the relax, I'm thinking of cutting out with maybe the new rose gold metallic paper. I have it cut out, and I'm going to make another one and see if I like that. That would kind of pull in the little bit of the pink here and a little bit of shimmer. Um, so if you haven't seen that we have gold and rose gold metallic paper in the new catalog, it's beautiful. All right, that's a little sneak peek for you guys because I love you. All right, what else do we want to talk about? So if you're not able to attend the retreat in person, we do have to-go options like Denise mentioned. So you can get a to-go kit. You get everything that the in-person people get. Um, you just don't get the time to hang out with me. But you do get online tutorials. You'll get all the goodies. Uh, everything comes in the to-go kit nice and uh, packed up and ready for you. All right, so what else do we want to say? You know what? I'm going to go back to this. Speaking of Pampered Stamper, I have one kit left over. It is a full kit from, from our weekend retreat. So first come, first serve. The first person who would like the full kit, I do have it available. So what does it come with? It comes with a pack of the snail mail 12 by 12. Then it's got, here's your goodie bag. So it's got a little goodie bag with everything inside. You have your um, six make and takes. So we've got all your make and takes here. They look like this. This is my portion. So those are the make and takes for me. I do not have the make and take samples that my friend Connie made, but these would be the three that I created. And then of course you would get the three she created. Um, you get some swag. So we have Stampin' Dimensionals. We have a Winker pen. We have the resin dots. We have sequins or resin hearts, sequins and rhinestones so you get all that as your swag and then we have goodies we have a little treat container here with some gummy strawberry gummy snacks we've got this super cute little notepad perfect Oh, I forgot. Here's more swag. You get this the twine. So everything in your swag bag you're going to use on your make and takes. Now keep in mind um, this would be more if you need it to be shipped. Then we have, we have an adhesive eraser with some cute little strawberry candies. We lost our strawberry here. Well, I'll find it. It's my, yeah, it's down here in the bottom. It got stuck. Then we have a Sharpie so you can write in your notebook. And then we've got some, there he is. He's stuck to the bottom of this one. You belong over here, strawberry. There we go. Yes, Vicki, the Sweet Strawberry Bundle is not available at this time. And uh, the problem is that the, the strawberry set is available because we make them, so we control them. They're made in the U.S., but the punches do come from overseas. So um, the struggle is real. There is a global shipping crisis, as we are all aware of. Um, and so we did have a very large shipment that came in. And we were able to fill all of our back orders, but then we left the number off so that we don't continue going into a huge back order situation. So there is another shipment trying to get over, 
Um, there is, it is taking time and we're going to see this. This is not something that's going to get fixed immediately because it is global. It's not just stamping up. We, we, even we on the farm are having trouble getting things that we need that are coming from overseas. It just is how it is in this COVID situation. We're still feeling the aftermath from last year and just this continual backlog. So, um, right now the guesstimate we have for the punch is hopefully by the end, uh, or the beginning of June. That's the guesstimate. Um, we will just, they just keep in touch with us and try and let us know when the shipment comes in. So as soon as I know, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, but there are some things that struggle like dyes, embossing folders, and punches. They are made overseas. And so it is a struggle to get them over here, especially in a timely manner with the way things are going. So anyway, thanks so much for understanding, guys. I know it is, it is really heartbreaking. Um, the thing for me that I look at is when we do have these two gorgeous catalogs, um, not much is non-orderable. There are select items that we can't get. It just so happens it's always the most popular items. It's what we all want right away. So anyway, we just got to hang tight. We got to deal with the situation. And as soon as I know, I will let you guys know as well. So anyway, these are all the goodies that are going to come in this uh, kit bag. So if this is something that you would like to purchase, I only have one of them available but this is the kit that everybody got at our uh, full weekend retreat so lots and lots of goodies in here actually the swag itself is worth fifty dollars so um, if that's something you're interested comment let me know and I will message you and um, that is yours first come first served guys all right oh I didn't show you this one we got talking about the strawberry punch so here is a cute little treat and then look what they did Connie's girls made this um, we did we grabbed a bunch of these little candies at Valentine's Day and we made them into little strawberries aren't they cute super super sweet love Hershey chocolate all righty so let me know if that is something that that would be interesting to you oh you're so welcome Vicki so welcome all right let me I got to get some things out of the way here so that I have room Okay, so we talked about Pampered Stamper. Um, real quick, I'm just going to remind you that we've got the host special going on. So this is the Connect, Craft, and Collect host special that runs through the 14th of June. So if you have a group of people that want to get together and submit orders or have an event or do something virtual, when you are the host and you submit at $250, you are going to get $25 extra. So at $250, you would normally get 10%, which gives you $25. Then we're going to add another $25. So at $250, you're getting $50 in free products. So woo! Ooh, that is awesome. So this event, this again runs now through May 14th. Uh, anyone can be a host. It could be your own personal order. I have hosted probably seven times in the last couple weeks because I put in, yes, I order just like everybody else. I have a long, long wish list, friends. So, um, but you can collect orders from friends. Like I said, if you want to get together and have a couple people over, I am down with that. I am ready to start doing some normal things so yeah if you want to get together with a couple people let me know we can have some stamp and fun or we can do it just like this we can be virtual so the other thing i'm going to uh, shout out real quick is our join plus because time is running out on this one and uh, this is till the end of may this is when your wish list starts hitting a hundred dollars guys you want to maybe consider the join plus this is a starter kit promo and we are giving 155 dollars in product so you're going to get $56 in additional for free for $99 you can get the starter kit that's going to include free shipping your free paper pumpkin your free business supplies and then it's up to you what you choose to do with it you can run it like a business you can do it as a hobby you can have it as a little side hustle whatever works for you Stampin' Up does not mind how you choose to run your business so I'm just gonna that's all I'm gonna say because I know I sound sometimes like I can't stop talking about 
about it because I love my job every single day. But if you have any questions or comments or, or anything you want to know about the starter kit, just let me know. We can have a little chat and um, I can give you some more information on that. So real quick, we've got the host code open. You're going to hop over and you can order anytime. JodyBrackbill.stampinup.net. This is the host code for May. Just put that in at checkout. Do me a favor, friends. Make sure I am in the upper left column every time you hit click to the next page and just make sure that you are shopping with me the entire time. If your order is over 150, do not put that code in, okay? You are going to get host benefits at 150, so you don't want to link this to me. You want to take those host benefits. Okie doke. So real quick, here's a little sneak peek and then we're moving on. Um, our next paper pumpkin is coming. This is June's kit. It's called Expressions in Color. It is going to focus on an, uh, some of our new ink colors. It's going to coordinate with our Expressions in Ink suite, which is in the new catalog, which is gorgeous. And we're going to give you two Stampin' Spots this time. So if paper pumpkin is something on your radar and you'd like to give it a try and, and see how it, how it goes, let me know and I can tell you the different options of how you can get that crafty kit delivered to your door every single month and this is what the box looks like so the paper pumpkin box is going to come beautiful in this purple like alcohol ink uh, look I love it I want the box like I just want to buy a bunch of the boxes so anyway paper pumpkin is available now through June 10th so, uh, registration or or subs or sign up which means then on june 11th it'll ship out or get ready to ship out to you okay so let me know if you have any questions about how that paper pumpkin works so last week i shared my you guys were loving the catalog tabs and i forgot to pull winners so i will do that when i get off here look for a post on this page of who the winners are of the catalog index tabs and then this time, I thought I would give away, um, this isn't the one I, well, I wanted a different one. Uh, the Sand and Sea, this is a little six by six sampler of Sand and Sea designer series paper. It's getting ready to retire next month. So um, this is just a little sampler of all the pretty inside. And all you need to do to win this, isn't that pretty? like love comment and share and if you share my my video you actually get your name entered a second time so um, that's all you need to do guys and then you're gonna stop back here next Wednesday and see who won all right so sand and see that is our giveaway for this week speaking of paper let me show you okay we talked about the party puffins do you guys love the party puffins <laughs> they're so cute i just think they're adorable so we're gonna play with these guys today and because they're black and white with a little pop of color we're gonna use some black and white with a little pop of color on our projects so i want to make sure you guys are aware of this gorgeous pack of paper so have you seen this paper this is called Oh, oh my gosh, I lost its name. Uh, pattern, pattern Party, I believe. So this is the black and white side, which I dig. I love black and white. My wedding was black and white. But when you flip it over, it's got gorgeous pops of color. So I did cut this down. This is a 12 by 12 pack. It's a mega pack, which means it's a huge pack. And it is a host only um a host only pack of stamp a uh, pack of paper so when you have your own party at 150 uh or or can you know collect orders together when you collectively put in an order of 150 you can choose this as your freebie this is just a sample i think there's three or four i think there's three pages or three pieces for every single uh pattern am i making sense i feel like i'm rambling so anyway, I wanted to show that to you because that's what we're gonna use today with our puffins. It just works perfectly. That's a lot of peas, lots of peas going on here today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now ahead of time just to save, um, 
Oh, Denise, your order's supposed to come today. Oh my gosh, it's a play day at your house for sure. The UPS man just showed up, so I know that there are probably three orders sitting on my porch right now. I heard him pull up right before I got on live here. So I did cut these guys out ahead of time just because it's so time consuming. I've got a lot of puffins I wanna show you. Pattern party, thank you, Vicki. Yeah, 48 sheets in that one. It is a mega pack of paper. So, Pattern Party, I love it. Check it out, it's only available as a host, so I wanna make sure everybody is aware. So I've got a piece of it right here, and we're gonna attach that. I'm gonna use the pink side, and then we're gonna jump over and use some of the black and white sides here on some of my other, my other cards. So I did not write down dimensions here, but I thought what I'm gonna do is uh, put them in the video. So when I put the video up, it's a lot easier for me. I can just type them right in there. Then you don't have to watch the entire um, the entire live again just to catch the dimensions. So that's what I'm going to start doing if that works for you guys. All right, so we're going to put a piece right across there along the bottom of our white, and then that's going to get attached to Oh no, we might have just had an uh-oh. I know, okay, there's ink on this. Let's flip it over. It's gonna need washed. I noticed that there is some ink and it was transferring onto my card, but it didn't get on the front, it just got on the back. Woo, crisis averted. All right, so now I need some white baker's twine and I did grab the snail mail. So the snail mail is getting ready to retire the end of June, but you can still get it. It's Whisper White and Blushing Bride. And, but we also now have the Essentials Pack. So we have this in the next catalog. So we still are keeping white. We added black vanilla. Um, this almost looks like crumb cake and maybe Sahara Sand, I'm going to guess. I don't know if those are the specific colors, but we are keeping the Essentials Pack of Baker's Twine. Yay, I love my Baker's Twine. So I'm just gonna wrap a little piece around the back side. Good morning, Deb. And there's Betty. Yay. I think Donna was on here. Donna, did you say that your order's coming today too? So exciting. Hopefully you don't have to go to work then when you have all those stamps sitting there ready to play with. All right, so we're gonna attach that. Now this is a piece of the thick whisper white. So I did put a score line in there. When you're using the, th and I said whisper white, it's basic white. Um, when you're doing, when you're using that, you definitely wanna put a score in. It just makes it fold so much nicer. Now I should have stamped that first, but I didn't, and that's okay. So I've got my memento. And we're going to do a happy birthday. This is such a cute little card. All right. It has a little bit of, I'm going to flatten it out. Normally I would have stamped that first, but I got so excited talking to you guys. I just did it without thinking. So I've got happy birthday and then I'm going to do from all of us. Oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> it did. I didn't mess it up. So we'll sit and let that dry while I've got all my little puffins here. Now, the only bad thing about these puffins is no dyes. So I did fussy cut them, which is why I did that ahead of time. So let's go ahead and do their little beaks. So I was kind of looking at puffin beaks and they're kind of reddish on the end. So I've got poppy parade. So we'll just do their little beaks and their little feets in Poppy Parade. Beaks and feet. And these guys, I did um, some cards for my team for our uh, last team, team meeting. We meet every month on Zoom. 
And so I did some puffin cards for them and I told them, make sure you winker, winker these guys. Their little tums just scream for Wink of Stella. They are so cute when you winker their cheeks and you winker their little tums, oh, so cute. They're just so cute. Alrighty, so then I took the pumpkin pie and I did the other side of their beak. And then I'm gonna show you something else I did just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, let's do, let's party, party hat. Let's do some flamingo. And while I have it, I'm gonna do their cake. So I've got some Flamingo Dark here and I'm just gonna go right up underneath where that icing is because that would kind of be like a little shadowy area. Hey Deb, it's okay if you're late, no big deal. You can join us anytime. Now I've got my light, light Flamingo here. And then I'm going to do my granny apple green. So I'm going to do a little dark right here on their icing. This cake is like an ode to the 80s, right? With pink and green. Light, did I say that was granny apple? Yep, light granny apple here on top. And then I'll do his little hat as well. Now I'm not going to put Wink Estella on these guys because I'll do that later because it just it does not show up. All right, let's do some poppy for their candle. And candle flames there. And then I've got some light pool party here for the plate. Now, while I have this, I'm going to show you, I've shown you this a couple times before, how you can just trace the whites. And I'm doing that with the light poppy parade. It just kind of pops a little bit more since they are white and black and don't have a whole lot of color. And then of course you can add the winker on top of here after. So just a little bit, my pool party is running out. I'm gonna need to get a new one. Put that on my wish list. All right, so now I'm gonna just bleed with, what's your name? color lifter. I wanted to say blending brush and that wasn't right. So I'm just going to bleed that pool party a little bit with my color lifter and it's probably very subtle so it may not be showing up here quite like I want it to on the video but do this at home. It's a great little technique just to give them a little bit of shading and just really pops. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna pop tart these guys all over the place. Oh man, I all I seem to have are the little bitty dimensionals. Where are my big ones? They've they've gotten feet and walked away. It's fine. We'll make it happen. All right, so let's put a couple little. We'll do bitty dimensionals on this since that's what I have here. All right, so we're just going to stick all these guys on here. And I do want to put a bow. So let's do that before, before I get too many puffins in the way. We'll just put a bow here right in the middle. I've got some sun coming in. Hopefully it won't cause too much of a glare.
and then you can fuss around and make it as big or as small as you want it to. So let's pop these guys. Pop in the puffins. I like this one. He he feels like he's like the crazy one. He's the crazy, crazy puffin. And then this guy is the shy one. I'm guessing they should they should get names. I'll have to think of some puffin names unless you guys have some some names for these guys. He's the little shy puffin. And then we're going to pop up that birthday cake. And there we go. Happy birthday from all of us. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love them. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kiss my puffins. Super cute. Okay, I got another card here for you. So now we're going to switch off to black and white with a little bit of color. So I've got that thick whisper white again. Make sure you crease it. Make sure you put a score line in it. It'll close so much better. Then I've got basic black and a piece of Beetlejuice paper because it's black and white stripes. Reminds me of Beetlejuice. So I'm going to attach those two together. And I am, I do need some big dimensionals. Hold on. I want, I do want some big ones because I want to attach this. I want to pop dot this layer. So one in each corner, one in the middle for luck or sag. Oh, I'm so glad you bought this set too, Betty. They are just so stinking cute. All right, there we go. Now everyone's going to want to go watch Beetlejuice today, Deb. Alrighty, so what I have now is I have a piece of, two pieces of the same designer paper, but I'm going to use one side stripe and one side the black and white dot. And I'm just gonna lay those two over top like that. Then I grabbed a piece of white and I die cut out this shape. This is a cute shape from one of my favorite dies, the hippos. I have not used this hippo stamp set yet, but I love the dies. I use the dies constantly, so I grabbed one of those. And that's going to go on with some dimensionals. All right, I just had big ones. There we are. So we'll just pop dot that. And then I did ahead of time, I cut out those puffins. And I cut out the little fish. So we're going to color him real quick. So I'm going to do dark for his hat. Granny apple for his stripes and his little poof on top. And then we'll do some light. I'm going to color my little fish here. This is the tricky part because I did cut him out. So it's hard to color. He needs to lay very still. Then we've got our pumpkin again for his beak and my fish. I'm going to guess it's a koi. Or a goldfish, I guess. Could be a little goldfish. Now we gotta do his little puffin feet. There we go. So let's stick him on with some dimensionals. Okay. 
Come on, there we go. And I'll, I want one of those littles because that can just go right there in his little poof. Hey, Kathleen, thanks so much for joining us today. We're having a puffin party. So we've got our little puffin here. Then we can do the little bitties on our fish. His little birthday gift. There we go. Now, uh, I have, don't, yeah, I have a little strip here and I'm gonna do my happy birthday. And if you're just joining, I'm going to put the dimensions in the description of this video. So that way you guys, if you wanna make some of them, make, make yourself some puffin cards, you can. So I'm just gonna slide this in here and just punch. Do I wanna do one more? Yeah, I want it a little bit shorter. There we go. Couple biddies on there. And we have another cute birthday card with our little puffins. Oh, it's on your June wish list. All righty. There we are. Now, let's do some, let's put a little bling on there, shall we? Everything's better with bling. You're welcome, Jeannie. I like to enable everybody. Yes, you do need this. Everybody needs a little puffin. So let's put some, just a couple rhinestones on here to just kinda fancy it up a little bit. There we are. All right, so now I've got one more card. If you guys can hang in there with me a little bit longer. We've got one more Puffin who's still ready to party. All right, so again, we're using the black and white. So I've got my thick Whisper White. Make sure that's nice and creased. I'm gonna attach this black or this, this um, designer paper to this black cardstock. And let's, now I'm not gonna use dimensionals because um, I wanna pop dot something else and I don't want it too thick. There we go. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna take just a couple strips. These are these are just random strips that I had kind of left over from all of my cutting and some more of that Beetlejuice paper, some of the black with the little white specks, and I'm just randomly sticking it on here. There's really no rhyme or reason, and then we've got the little black and white open circles. There we go. Now, I took this long piece here and I have some of this, like Harlequin, is that maybe what that's called? Or Argyle, how about that? I'm gonna stick that right here and then I'm gonna die cut it out. And I'm gonna use tailor-made tags. So this was one that I didn't know I needed. And then I saw some ideas and thought, dang it, I do need that so and I'm using it a lot I love it so we're gonna wake up baby and we're gonna grab this biggest one right here and make ourselves a very cool tag and just because I don't want it to move because I want to make sure that that paper is straight and actually did I I put it on crooked no I'm just looking through my camera just making it look crooked there we go me too Kathleen 
I love black and white with a pop of color. Now this one, the, the little pops of color kind of are coming from the puffins, which is cool. All right, so now I just need to very carefully peel that off because I don't want to rip my paper. And look, look at that cute little tag. I love it. I'll show you what I made for my team cards here in a minute then. All right, baby, back to bed. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp your you the best on here. And then I did my puffin ahead of time. So let's color him in right quick. There we are. And let's add some twine to that bow. Yes, Denise, I think you're right. I think you need to add them to your wish list. I, I don't normally make tags for the sake of tags, but I love them on as an embellishment. I think they're cute. But they are perfect for gift giving too. Especially they'll be good at, at Christmas. So I did, I'm doing a double. So I've got two pieces of twine here. Get off Puffin, I'm not ready for you yet. Um, two pieces of twine to make a double, double bow. There we are, and we can just trim off whatever's sticking off that's too long. Attach that with a couple dimensionals. I have that go a little sideways too, I think. And then we'll put our puffin on and that is it for our cards, my friends. And then I'm gonna add some Wink of Stella when I'm done here. So aren't they cute? Oh, so sweet. Um, I can only see part of, somebody must have had a question about the magnet plate. So there is no magnet for the baby. Um, and the magnet for the big boss was recalled because we had some trouble with it. So we're still waiting for them to work out the issues. So if you have got the magnetic plate with your, that you use with your big shot, that's what I'm still using. So there are your little puffin cards. Aren't they adorable? And just in time as the sun is starting to peek out. So let's see, do I have... So I wanted to showcase, these are what I made with my, um, oh, that's a good idea. Kathleen says she uses these for bookmarks. So they would be perfect. And I love, I love what we're doing with the stitching. I think that's so cool when everything's got the stitching. It just adds that little extra to it. Um, so for my team, I wanted to showcase the new in colors. And so I grabbed the puffins and these were the make and takes that my team did last, uh, this past past month. So we had uh, papaya and the evergreen. And these are these guys are all have winker on them. So they are very, very shiny. It just, you can't quite see it. The polished pink and the freesia. And again, I'm using those tags. And then the succulent. Aren't they adorable? So, so cute. So anyway, friends, thank you again so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check out the gorgeous pack, the host only pattern party designer series paper that is, uh, it's like the business on one side and then the party in the back because it's got all those cool colors. So that is host only and we've got that great host special. So when you reach 250, you're gonna get $25 extra. 
And then I'm giving away the Sand and Sea. This is a little six by six pack of Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. So come on back and check and see if you might have one next week. I'll be right here again, Touch Base Tuesday. No, this isn't Touch Base Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Touch Base Tuesday is for my team, but I do What's Up Wednesday for you guys. So I will be right back here next week, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern for What's Up Wednesday. So make sure you check this video in the description. I'm going to put the dimensions that I use for these cards, and I'm also going to announce the winners from last week, which I forgot to do. All right, my loves, thanks so much for hanging out with me and partying with my partying with my puffins because there ain't no party like a puffin party, right? All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll see you next week.